So we've all seen how AI can create some stunning artwork in 15 seconds. Now, Midjourney is clearly the benchmark for creating artwork today. But whether we are working with Midjourney or any other application, your prompt is the most important part to create the image. Today, we're gonna see how we can generate prompts using ChatGPT and then create stunning artwork using a Midjourney alternative that is actually free and it's so close to the quality that we can have on Midjourney. Hey guys, my name is Veda, and today we're gonna see how we can create some stunning artwork using ChatGPT and Leonardo AI. Let's jump right in. All right, so quickly before jumping into the video, I, I wanna tell you that this is going to be a series of videos, so maybe two or three. This first one, we're only gonna see how we can create one image, but on the second and even third video, we're gonna see how we can automate the creation of prompts, so we can create a bulk of prompts, like a hundred or even a thousand, and then from there, we can copy paste them to create as many images as we want. So just make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you receive the videos once they're out. Now let's get back to the video. So here we have the Leonardo AI. This is basically the tool that we are going to use. And uh, unlike with Journey, we don't need to go to Discord or any type of uh, medium. We can just have it on our browser and we can work with it. So if you are going to be signing up for the first time, you need to put your email in here. And once you receive the email, they will give you instructions in order for you to create your account. So I already created my account. So I go to a launch app and I click on yes, I am whitelisted. And it just redirects me to my account. Here you can see the showcases of everything that we can create using uh, the Leonardo AI. So these are basically creations of other people on the community. And as you can see, the um, main journey is really good, but we can create anything. We can create posters, we can create, we can do some gaming uh, assets. Uh, we can create some realistic images. So it's as good as mid journey. I would say it's the closest to mid journey I've ever seen. So here we are going directly to PayPal image generation. And from here, we can choose a model that we are going to use. We can choose the number of images that we want to uh, generate every time uh, we can choose the dimensions we're going to see this in details so it starts with a simple prompt just to get the feeling of what type of images that this ai model can create so let's say an orange cat looking out of a window of a tall building click on generate okay so here we can see that we have already a really good looking images. Yeah, this one, the details is a bit weird, but I would say it's a good image. This one also, the details are weird, the, the hands are weird. So as you can see, it's, it's really good image. I mean, don't get me wrong, but if we are to use a better prompt, we can get so much more value out of this, uh, out of this AI tool. So it's really good looking images, but still we can do so much better. So for this, let's jump right in and see the prompt that we are going to use on ChatGPT in order for us to generate the prompt, the other prompt that we're gonna give to uh, OpenAI. So here are the prompts, there are uh, multiple things that we have to understand in this prompt. And I found it maybe on a, on a YouTube video or on a GitHub repository. I don't remember exactly, but I found it on my, on my PC. And it's a really good one that has been generating good quality images. So here we're going to say acts as a prompt generator or Leonardo AI. But I will give you the concept and then you will give me a detailed prompt. So here we will ask it to stick to a structure because every time we don't tell it to stick to a structure, it will basically just give us explanations about the answer that it's given us. We don't want that. We just want the answer as a prompt. So we say that we don't need it to use the description or any other thing. And the structure is going to be like this. So let's type in the same thing that we just typed in before. An orange cat looking at. And here we're going to get into choose a mood, a scene, uh, an atmosphere, a style for photography, and uh, basically an artwork, the camera lens everything that that is detailed enough for Leonardo AI to do less guessing and just stick to the exact prompt that we want to. 
So this is the structure that we wanted to follow in order to create the prompt and some more, uh, some more instructions in order for it to create a really good prompt. So let's copy this. Now let's uh, jump to chat GPT and paste the prompt that we have just created. And here chat GPT will basically give us a prompt that we can just copy paste and put it inside the library AI to create the images that we want. So let's copy this one. Let's paste it in here and let's click on generate. And this is so much better. This picture, for example, is so much better, so many details, and it's it just it's just a better picture than the ones that we have here. Not so much details. Which this one as well. I don't know what's going on with the the, the feet, but it's a it's a good image. Generally speaking, the windows they are more realistic. The, the cat is more realistic. So the prompts that we used right here is so much better. We can, we can just basically regenerate the response and give it another prompt and see what's going to happen. So let's copy this. Let's paste it in here. Let's click on generate. Again, this is so much better so much more realistic the windows are more realistic the cat itself is more clear and yeah it's 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 a really good image that we can have here if we we can save the image let's just save it in here let's open it let's open the image and here we can see that there's so much more details the hair the face, everything is so much more detailed. So this is a really good generating model that uh, that new hardware AI have, is having. We have multiple things that we can have in here. We can add a negative one, uh, a negative prompt that will help the image be better. A negative prompt is basically whatever uh, things that we don't want to have in here. So we can just copy paste this one. Uh, I always use it in order to have a better image. Uh, we have different things that we can uh, we can uh, we can do with this picture. We can basically unzoom it if we want more of the image. We can basically unzoom it. We can uh, remove the background so we can keep only the, the 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 cat that we that we want. We can do so many more operations in here, and it's so much easier to use than Mid Journey because Mid Journey we have to type everything, and it's not as uh, it's not as interactive and easy to use as uh, the Leonardo AI. Let's, let's, for example, try to unzoom it and see what's going to happen. So now we have more details. So more of the window, more of the, the floor, and more of the outside. So yeah, so that's basically it. We can do so many more things. But the best thing is that this number of tokens, it's, it gets renewed every, uh, every day. So this is a really good alternative and it's still free. So I would say this is one of the best AI generative programs out there. So that was basically it. In the next video, we're going to see how we can create a process, a UiPath process that will take the prompt that we just had and create multiple prompts. And then after that, we're going to take all of these prompts and we're going to paste them inside Leonardo AI and see what type of images we can create using this. So that was it for me, guys. Until next time, catch you guys on the next one.